was scared just because um, they had to hook up an apnea monitor. I don't know exactly what it oh, is. Oh, okay. To track heart and okay. oxygen. oxygen. Oh, okay. And he kept, she said, call us when it triggers and immediately start triggering. Dang. Yeah. And apparently she was sleeping over the hose, the little wire. So, yeah. Yeah. That's always the first thing. If it's alarming, we just check and make sure it's actually connected well. Because sometimes it, like, if it comes off or it's just not uh, uh, properly on her hand or her foot, wherever they're testing, so then we consider it like not, a, yeah, not an inaccurate. So once we get a good attachment, it's hooked up right, and if it's still kind of flagging, it's it's common for them to have brief like resolved episodes. So if it's persistent, that's when we get a little bit more worried. It sounds like hers were just brief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And this is Zoe, right? Yes. And then Carla, we did the car seat test on mm -hmm. when she passed and she was mm -hmm. Zoe. Perfect. And then their jaundice level this morning we checked was okay. I think it was like 12 or so. No, they didn't come here. They didn't do it? The no. forehead one? They oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's yeah. Yes. yeah. But she didn't say the yeah. results yet. Yeah, they had so to go check with the that. doctor. So, But it was okay. okay. Not too high. Yeah. Sorry. I'm yeah, still. it's okay. <laughs> I know. Sometimes they come in, sneak in, and just do things, huh? I so have, we don't interrupt uh, you guys. <clears throat> I have some questions. Uh-huh. One, it's because of he was really worried about worry okay. worry about that thing, the yeah. oxygen and yes. He was like I don't know hot spring, but he was worried. Sure. So at home, yeah. do you think it's good idea for us to keep uh, monitor her oxygen? Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend it. There's a couple of things that um you can buy that are similar to this. Like the most common one is called I'm blanking on the name. I'll try to remember it. Uh -huh. There's one that a lot of parents buy, but I find that it'll just falsely alarm you mm. when nothing's wrong. Mm. And so it, like I've had a couple of families that have gone to the emergency room because it warns them uh -huh. for something, and then they go to the emergency room and the kid, you know, the baby's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, they're not. They're not very good. They're not professional. They're not. Yeah, like. Yeah, they're not hospital grade if that makes uh -huh. sense. Yeah. Industrial. So they're not industrial and then you get false uh, yeah. information. Yeah. So more false positives. Well they've been here, they've been doing good, right? Yes. So I'm I would be um I would feel comfortable if you guys went home without it and just watch them. You're just looking watch. for, you know, if they're turning blue at all. Those are more concerning when they're feeding or they having issues, but they haven't had any of those, so no. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So I would uh, recommend against it. The biggest thing that we just recommend is like safe sleep is the biggest thing, right? So uh -huh. when they're in, the, we don't practice it very well because we always put these things here, <laughs> all these little bumpers I did, and stuff. Because the other doctor said, oh, the breathe is good, and then and then he said, um, what about the side? And then when she said, oh, sometimes if you put them on the side, they can they have the possibility to roll like uh -huh. this and then i stopped putting them. <laughs> yeah so here here in the hospital there's someone always checking on them right like every uh -huh. three or four hours or so so but our recommendations at home is just kind of like this it's a firm hard mattress you only have like one fitted sheet on it and then they're in their own bassinet or crib uh -huh. and then ideally nothing else in the crib or bassinet with them so uh -huh. no bumpers like this they have some that like prop the baby up so they don't sleep or they don't roll if you do a nice swaddle usually they're using their legs to kind of rotate around uh -huh. so when the, they're swaddled really nice they can't really roll very much so always put them on their back lay them down ideally if they turn their heads it's okay but nothing to prop them so that they like turn or mm -hmm. don't roll um, they usually won't roll if you're swaddling them really well, and that reduces the risk of, you know, having SIDS is what we're trying to prevent, which is a So, so the texture of the, the mattress is important, so it has to Correct. be, cannot be too okay. hard, so yes. otherwise it's slippery and rolly. Yes, yeah, hard firm mattress, kind of like this, and then just one fitted sheet and then nothing else in the cover That's bathroom. That's all Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then ideally just one swaddled blanket around them, an extra, like this is perfect, this is really good. And then uh, nothing else like on top of them yeah, or next to them this. or propping yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. And that's like the safest thing for for yeah. sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, especially with the breathing and all that, that's what we're always worried about, right? Is mm -hmm. they're having some issues at nighttime. <clears throat> and then Yes. The nose. Uh -huh. How to nose prior like 
Mm. Is it yellow or? No, it's her nose. Uh... Anemia. I, I got anemia mm -hmm. here after the mm -hmm. and then the doctor prescribed me some um, iron. Mm -hmm. Not nothing. Yeah, no usually no issue all. for them. Okay. If anything, they usually have higher blood counts. Okay. They their their uh, hemoglobin is higher because okay. they're newborn babies. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, the pa pediatrist appointment. Mm -hmm. Do you know if they have one? Yes, they have one. So I'll be seeing you guys in clinic. Oh, great. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be there Tuesday. So you guys are coming to see me on Tuesday morning. Okay. And the information will be on your paperwork. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool. Oh, cool. You work outside the hospital? Yeah. Great, mm -hmm. great. Yeah, I actually mostly work outside the hospital. And then here I do this like four times a month or four times a year so. yeah so stuff like definitely comes up later i mean there's no hurry <laughs> there'll be more stuff yeah you got write it all write it all down that way you yeah. know we can answer it when you guys come things will come up so i yeah. just noticed that geometrically her yes. little nose if okay. you look her straight uh, it's know, a little bit crooked yeah it is what it is let's take a look at it it looks pretty cute to me looks pretty normal and you know, a lot of their face will change in the first couple of weeks or months or so. Okay. okay. Yeah, it could be when they're born, they look like they're yeah. smashed in the face, kind <laughs> yeah, of yeah, like exactly. a tomato that falls on the yeah. you know. There's a lot of swelling. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll change probably with some time. Yeah. Okay. It's not. Still very cute, huh? So don't worry about it. I just want to make sure you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay. Cute. All right. She's a cute. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at you. What other questions do you guys have? That's how I could. Okay. <laughs> For now. Did Dr. Yeah. Walters come by already? Did the discharge talk with you guys or not? No. Yet? Okay. We do it with all parents. It's just like routine things to uh, to look out for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you have cute dimples too, huh? And then I make sure I have Carla, right? Yes. Okay. Did you grow up in the area? Yeah, I actually like my family's still here in the Loanda. Do you oh, know do you know the family the Siagians? Yeah, there's a several Siagians that I don't know. Which did, one? Who do you? Uh, my best friend at school, we graduated together, Cal State. Ron Siagin, he had died from a heart attack. He He's was so married real. to Tanya. He's got brothers. Um, do you have a picture of him? Uh, I'll get it for you. Yeah. But uh, he was my dear friend, and it's a loving community. And just, yeah. I'm friends with this, I mean, to this day. Tanya moved to the Midwest oh, with the two she? girls. Got two little girls. And uh, it was interesting because I had two girls. He had two girls himself. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I'll never forget that one day he calls me, he he bought a, one of those uh, circuit breakers, little extension cord, a tiny little $2 okay. one, we uh -huh. buy, buy the 99 cent store. Okay. And suddenly the lamp caught on fire. <laughs> the bedroom started <gasps> burning. It caught oh, on fire. The cheap, uh, instead of buying a Home Depot, yeah, yeah. a fancy one, that thing caught on fire. And the, I mean, all kinds of stuff, yeah. fire, you know. Oh no! Because yeah, of the two dollar wire, the bedroom caught on fire. Oh, no, so the whole bedroom caught on fire. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, because everyone of a, was okay. Basically. Everybody was okay, yeah, yeah. but it was just like funny how yeah. we, sometimes you go cheap on these electronics yeah. and <laughs> electrical and it things. More, creates more issues in the future. Huh? Yep. Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Okay. I know it's a little cold. She's still a little bit yellow, but that's okay. And we'll check it again when she's in the clinic. Mm -hmm. Okay. And on these videos too, we always make an extra effort to stay private. We never show the babies 
private places. Uh, I mean, good, good, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. you know no need to s no. go. No one needs to see that. Yeah, no. or yeah, there's just people. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> all kinds of people watching. Sure. She was saying when there's a straight line, there's a problem. Oh, now it's good. When okay. you're moving, it does weird, um, yeah. the graph, there's some graphs, but. And, uh, and that was pretty brief. So technically, like, uh, uh, if she's not breathing, <clears throat> it's considered abnormal if they're doing it for longer than 20 seconds, which is a long time. Okay. If it's brief and short, it's not considered like true, what we call apnea, where they stop mm -hmm. breathing. Yeah. And the brief ones are pretty common. The, okay. The nurse outside, the, the, the nurse that she was doing the test for yes. her, uh -huh. for the car seat, mm -hmm. she said that the babies, they, they used to hold their breath. Yeah. <laughs> That's creepy. She said, <laughs> they, they do that. <laughs> You know the spiders do too? I tainted my house for termites. That's what we do here, right? All the bugs died except the, the spiders. Oh, really? Yeah. And then I said, listen, you guys didn't use enough uh, gas yeah, you know, to yeah. fumigate or taint yeah. the house. So no, the spiders actually hold their breath. Oh my gosh, so they, they won't they Up won't to 48 hours. Right. Self-protecting uh, mechanism. Yeah. They just... <gasps> wow. And they don't die. Yeah. So babies, they have that, they do that too. Interesting. Yeah, when they get older, they'll even do it sometimes when they're angry and upset. Yeah, I, I, I saw that yeah. in the children when yeah. they're older. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe. All right. That's it. I'm all done. Diary. Kyla, what's going on? I'm mm -hmm. You're okay. Okay, yeah, I'm going to check your sister now. He oh, just wants to eat. Is it eating time? Yeah. Eating time. Huh? And then I saw Zoe's weight is coming up already. Yeah, so it's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. The. It was like hitting 10% and now it's 8%. Right, the weight is yeah. below, it's getting, you know, normal range. Yeah. That's what I heard, 6%. I like good. The, the planet. Hmm. It's a cute outfit. I don't know. We're trying to identify. I think it's Oksana, one of the church friends that gave oh, us. Oh, you bought it? Okay. <laughs> nice. Fa I like the fashion. I mean, it's quietly made. I was just, I don't know. Yeah, these are nice. It, it, it's It'll be easy for you guys when you... <laughs> and it's yeah. something so simple that yeah. could be made here in the U.S., but it's made in China. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like a technical, anything special, so difficult to make. Yeah. You know? It'd be easy for... A garment manufacturing in LA to make this. <laughs> but, uh, so you guys live in the area too? We live in, in Redlands. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a listen, Zoe. Catch up with them. <laughs> <laughs> <Sleeping too. laughs> All right. All right. Well, they look great. 
And you're, are you getting discharged today, Mom? Yes. Okay. I think they're going to be set to go as well. I'm already, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go a little bit. Perfect. It's going to be nice uh, because you're also local. I mean, yeah. it's going to be so convenient. Yeah. So I'll see you guys in the clinic. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, you know, you don't have to drive to Orange County or... Well, so we're lucky to have the best uh, medical professions in our area. You know, yeah, just some yeah. people travel such long distances, know. you know? Yeah, absolutely. They travel for school, for <laughs> doctors, for their babies, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's interesting. Yeah, absolutely. There's, and there's, they're incoming constantly. You know, we, we have rentals in Loma Linda mm -hmm. and um, the ads, I just put out ads on the trading post. Yeah. I spent $8. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And people start calling. I don't know how soon they get the paper, but yeah. I know the paper's not out yet, and they're already calling. It's probably online, right? They post it online. Yeah, it could be first. Post. Probably put it online, and and I go who calls first. Yeah. And after that, there's like a cascade, a cascade of phone calls, yeah, nonstop, yeah. nonstop, because there's a shortage of housing in the camps mm -hmm. here. And I try to explain, don't be lagging because it's not enough. You need yeah, to yeah. act fast. Mm -hmm. So one young lady from um, Sacramento, and uh, yeah just immediately yeah. boom book the place without seeing it she saw a video and home, just, but, yeah but, but there's nothing around wow. so i'll take it and and they're students or they're students school of nursing okay. school of she dentistry okay. yeah she's starting school of nursing okay. and uh, what do you guys rent out is it a little little we have a four, a four plaques uh, we have eight plaques four plaques oh, okay. they're like commercial apartments oh, I see, I see. near the campus and houses okay. but the houses They've been occupied for a long time. Uh, be anything in the campus. Yeah, yeah. Goes quick, right? Goes in a, yeah. And folks yeah. just, you know, we, we are reasonable, you know, we want them to stay. Mm -hmm. It's not the commercial aspect where they push you and raise you all mm -hmm. the time. That's not what we do. Mm -hmm. But um, they are students and we kind of cater to them. Mm -hmm. We train, we tend to, we tend to keep a nice synergy yeah. of right. not mixing different lifestyles. Yeah, yeah. And it works. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, the the students definitely are. There's all there's always uh, students that are looking to. <laughs> there is looking for renting because there's an immense amount of availability uh, past Mount View. If you have to drive, but that's not the point. Yeah, they want they to be local, in a walking distance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah for all their rotations, their classes. And all yep, that. yep. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys gonna come here in the future? In the future. <laughs> if we're gonna come back, hope we don't come back often here. <laughs> Are you guys planning on living somewhere else? No, no, no. Come back to the hospital. Oh. The, yeah, to the children's <laughs> hospital. I'm saying. No, no. We we live here in Redlands. We're gonna be here for a while. Yeah. We just uh, I've been here for a while. I have no yeah. plans of leaving. And yeah. We work awesome. for the we work for the medical center as well. Oh, do you guys? We do your food service. We do your vending machines oh, throughout okay. the campus. Oh. And nice. all the schools and, and yeah. so we have a close relationship we've been doing healthy vending yeah. selective items and vending yeah. machines from here to Marietta and uh, mm -hmm. high schools and all your, yeah. you know oh, that's all awesome. the SD organizations yeah. Yeah. so it's busy it's it's challenging yeah challenge to find help to find yeah. physical humans to do the work that's the mm -hmm. hardest part mm -hmm. but uh, it's going well and yeah. they're happy and we came into the new hospital working on deploying for the new hospital and oh that's awesome so, so you guys were able to help with that as well. Yes. Have you guys gotten to see it? Yes, I've been there before it opened. Yeah. It's funny because uh, one of the uh, nurses called us on Friday, said we're opening on Sunday, so I'm aware, but I, I didn't receive any yeah. correspondence to, yeah. to, to deploy equipment yet. No, 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 we want them. We want them. We, we need to have them there Sunday morning. <laughs> so it was such a last minute, but we got it done. And oh, just, uh, <laughs> But it, 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 yeah, it shows how much went on to, to oh stock and move, yeah. just the details. Yeah. But it was beautiful. When I first I walked there, do a walk through on Friday, there's no one there. Yeah. We go through the doors in the ER, it's all stocked, it's all equipped, it's, all, it's on, yeah. everything in its right place, it's ready to, for the, you know, yeah. turn on. And then suddenly, boom, immediately working. And it was just a beautiful thing to see, to see all the equipment already yeah. set, installed, yeah. tested. Yeah. But you enter in these rooms, there's no one around. Still we empty. walked. <laughs> yeah, there's no one yet. You know? yeah. Still empty. Huh? Yeah, still empty. Yeah. Even yeah. now, I feel like it's still not as busy as I thought it was going to be. It's yeah. still very, like, peaceful and calm, which is good, I think. It's good. It's good. All righty, guys. Well, they look great. 
I'll just have Dr. Walters come back to the discharge talk with you guys, okay? Okay. And then we'll get all the paperwork ready from our end. Uh, once the nurse has your paperwork and Carla and Zoe's paperwork, then they get the discharge ready for both mm -hmm. of you guys. Sounds good? That's okay. excellent, doctor. Thanks all so right. much. And then I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations. Enjoy. Thank you. Yes, I'll enjoy a normal bed. <laughs> I know, not like a little sleeper bed, right? Yeah. But no. that bed has, has been a blast. <laughs> I'm telling you, it has been a blast. Yeah, that's good. It is because I, I had a cardiovascular event here mm -hmm. like in 2019. Mm -hmm. When I was on the seventh floor, the nurse was very strict. Yeah. It was ICU. Yeah. Um, she wasn't supposed to, they hardly let her stay. Yeah. She had to sit all night. Oh my we, we, we unfolded that chair, the yeah, exact yeah. chair. Yeah. They said, no, no, you can't, you have to sit. We're not allowed to have oh, family gosh. sleeping here. And she stayed and she slept Slap. standing up, oh, like sitting goodness. up. And oh then, my goodness. So here you guys allowed me to yeah. stretch, it was yeah. nice. It was, uh, yeah. yeah, you get to sleep yeah. for however little sleep you do get with new babies. <laughs> All righty, guys. Okay, Dad, I'm going to um, keep her open since her poop, she has a poopy diaper. Uh -huh. All right. Sounds good? Sounds good. All right. Congratulations. I'll see you guys on Tuesday, okay? Tuesday. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. It, yeah, I need to learn how to change diapers and so on. <laughs> Doc. Time, no, no, there's no time already. to practice than Trust now. <laughs> no better time to practice than now. All right. I'll see you guys in a bit, okay? I'll see you. Bye-bye. Okay.